I don't think she understood what I wanted. I mean, I needed guidance. And she told me to take up water skiing. Needless to say, I didn't get the job. And all he can hear is his own breathing. And he is totally overwhelmed at how big the world is. And how small and unimportant he is. All right, here we go. So, Daniel, we've been meeting for three weeks now. <laughs> Time flies, huh? So it says here, you're receiving our treatment regularly and no significant progress. Well, that's all right, we have all the time in the world. I don't suppose you'd like to tell me why you did it. <sighs> Daniel, we're not going to get anywhere if you don't open up to me. We're all trying to help you. You can trust me, Daniel. Hi. Come on in. Hi, Madeline. So good to see you. This is my husband, George. How's the book coming? Oh, you're writing a book. How lovely. What's it about? Well, in short, it's a modern rendition of Sartre's nausea. Oh, it sounds so interesting. I just love smart men. Sarah, has anyone ever told you you look exactly like your father? <laughs> <laughs> yes, George. He's got to have someone to look up to. I don't know. Are you supposed to ask me what I'm missing, or are you going to save me, or something? Why are you asking? Are you, are you trying to tell me something? No, I just. Well, I, I mean, why would you ask me that? Because you know very well what would happen. They'd take you away. I mean, are you trying to scare me? Tell me right now. Are they going to find anything? <laughs> 